Hey guys, this is Chris from SROCK. This time we're going to have a great launch of our P55 series motherboards. And later I'm going to show you some nice features, nice performance results from our RD team. And I guess you guys cannot wait to see that, right? Alright, let's check this out. Alright, now let's check the overview of SROCK P55 series motherboards. And among SROCK P55 series motherboards, the most high end main board of the P55 series is the P55 Deluxe as you can see right now on the screen it is a P55 Deluxe picture and you can see that on this main board it is equipped with uh, advanced V16 power phase design okay very cool and also this main board can support the worldwide first the world's fastest DR3 2600 plus you can see that this is the world's first motherboard can achieve this memory speed. And we see that dual LAN can support teaming function and also we scroll down the dual cap with the 100% Japanese solid capacitors which is a 2.5 times longer lifetime and most important of all is we have a free bundle ASRA SOLID3 card which can support SOLID3 devices. Okay, you can see here Free bundle is from SATA 3 car. As you can see, the transfer speed comparison. Okay, SATA 2 is 3 gigabit per second only, and SATA 3 generation is 6 gigabit per second. So here, SATA 1, SATA 2, now we're going to SATA 3 generation. So with SROC SATA 3 car, you can freely enjoy the SATA 3 transfer speed. Okay, next one, you can see that it's a world's fastest. Memory support, DDR3 2600 plus. Okay, you can see that from this figure, you can find that as of P55 series motherboards, DDR3 2600. From other motherboards, DDR3 2000 only. Okay, now we're in P55 Deluxe uh, BIOS setup, and um, now the, our engineers have set all related settings for the DDR3. DDR3 memory clock settings and now you can see that the memory frequency already reached to DDR3 2600 okay let's go to the OS and check this out okay now we are in in the Windows OS and you can see that the CPU-Z shows that memory board is um, SRA P55 Deluxe and you can see that the CPU Z shows that the DRAM frequency is running at 1300 MHz. And that is DDR3 2600. Okay. This is also the world's fastest memory support on the motherboard spec. Okay. That is cool. Okay, let's check out this. On P55 Deluxe, it is also equipped with uh, advanced V16 power phase design. As we know that with this kind of um, V16 power phase design, the system will be more stable, especially when the system is in heavy loading or overclocking, something like that. Okay, later I will show you the more detail about V16 power phase design on the main board. Okay, let's remove the heat pipe. As you can see that P55 Deluxe V16 B core power phase design. That's really cool. Okay, the next feature is NVIDIA physics technology. Okay, on SRA P55 series motherboards, there are two models can support the uh, NVIDIA physics technology. The one is P55 Deluxe, is the most high end, and the other is the P55 Extreme. Okay, with physics ready, you can install two NVIDIA graphics cards on these two main boards, and you can find that the physics technology can help the NVIDIA GPU for physics improves performance on physics games up to 45% performance boost. That is good. As you know that ASRA is the worldwide first motherboard manufacturer to support the EUP standard. And today, we take this chance to proudly announce that P55 Deluxe and P55 Extreme are the worldwide first motherboard to support, to meet the EUP 2.0 standard. Okay, maybe. Take this chance to explain what is the UP and 
what, what is the difference between EUP and EUP 2.0? So according to EUP, the total AC power consumption of the complete system should be under 1 watt in off mode condition. So as you can see that on this figure, to meet EUP standard, the EUP ready motherboard and the EUP ready power supply are required. So compared with EUP, the EUP 2.0 is stricter. Because based on the EUP 2.0 standard, the total AC power consumption of the complete system should be under 0.5 watt in off mode since 2013. So as I mentioned before, today, we're hereby proud to announce that our P55 Deluxe and P55 Extreme are the worldwide first motherboard to achieve the EUP 2.0 standard. Okay, now I'm going to show you the power consumption difference between um, ASRock EUP ready motherboards and other competitors P55 motherboards without EUP support. Okay, I guess you guys will love EUP. Okay, now we're going to have a um, power consumption comparison test, especially when the system is on the off mode. The first system we're going to test is um, Gigabyte P55 motherboard. And uh, right now, of course, we're testing with um, UP ready power supply. It is actually an Ekbel power supply, which is a UP qualified power supply. And uh, with this kind of configuration, you can see that. Okay, right now the system is on the off mode. However, the Gigabyte P55 motherboard still consumes 1.6 watts. So it definitely cannot pass the UP standard because, uh, according to EUP, the total AC power consumption of the complete system must be under 1 watt. All right, the second system we're testing right now, there's uh, MSI P55 platforms, and uh, we're using the same configurations. And right now, you can see that when system is in off mode, according to the um, power meter, okay, it still consumes 1.3 watts. Okay, so it definitely cannot pass the, the UP standard because according to UP standard, the total AC power consumption under the system power off mode should be under one watt. All right, now last the the last system we're testing is um, SRock P55 Deluxe. Okay, you can see that we're using the exactly same configurations, same CPU, same VGA card, same memory. Especially we are testing with the same UP qualified power supply. Uh, as we know that P55 Deluxe is UP 2.0 ready, so you can see that right now the, the total AC power consumption under the system off mode is only 0 0.27, 27 or 28 watt only. It is below 0 0.5 watt, uh, it's according to UP 2.0 standard. Okay, so the P55 Deluxe is really, you know, consuming less less power, especially under the uh, system in off mode. It's meet UP 2.0 standard. All right, here's the final result. We can find out we are using the exactly same configuration here. Okay, same CPU, same memory, VGA card, hard drive, and power supply on different mainboards, including the, the Gigabyte P55, MSI P55, and SROC P55 motherboards. And you can see the final result here. The Gigabyte, the standby power consumption is 1.6 watts, MSI P55 is 1.3, and SROC P55 Deluxe only consumes 0.27 watts. So only SROC P55 on the boards can pass the EUP standard, even, even the EUP 2.0 standard, as you can see here. For EUP, should be under 1 watt in off mode, so both of our competitors cannot pass the EUP. And for SROC P55, we can pass the EUP 2.0, that is um, 0.5 watt in off mode.